We call ourselves God's soldiers. We are ambassadors of Christ. Out here to spread the gospel today on a beautiful day. March Madness is going on. And we're all marching to see the basketball games and all that. There's nothing wrong with that. But we need to put Jesus in our lives first before we do everything. We are called to be ambassadors of His Word. In 2 Corinthians 5.20, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. We need to reconcile ourselves to God and ask for repentance for all the sins that we do in these days. As we go around and we're starting to be a little bit more free with ourselves out here, we need to remember to put God, put Jesus before everything. The only way that we can be redeemed through this world, the only way that we can be made new is through Jesus. We can't continue this life without Him. The reason why we are so broken is because we have left God and Jesus, the Holy Bible, out of everything in our lives. We have put a fear in man, a fear in science, not a fear for the Lord. As we are called to be ambassadors, we need to remember the grace that was given for us on the cross on Mount Golgotha. When Jesus died 2,000 years ago for us, He died for every one of our sins whether you know Him or not. When you wake up, Jesus knows how many hairs are on your head. He's needed more ambassadors and more soldiers of Christ to step up. To have a backbone and to speak the truth in this world. That there is love. There is too much division. There is no unity in this world anymore. What has happened? Because we have minus the Bible. We have forgotten Jesus. If you want to be redeemed and made new and whole in this world, you ain't going to get it by a paycheck. You're not going to get it by man or woman. God bless you. You're going to get it through Jesus. And our Holy Bible tells us of how to find Jesus. How to get to Him. In order to be brothers in arms in Christ, we have got to be like David. We have got to have a courage like Joshua 1.9 says, Do not be dismayed. Do not fear, for the Lord God is with you at all times. I don't need anything but Him. God bless you guys. This courage I have of coming out here is not of me. It is of God, because I know that my Scripture tells me that He is with me wherever I go. But don't forget the grace, because in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, you therefore, my son, be strong in grace. That is in Christ Jesus. So as we're marching for March Madness and I'm marching in the streets for Jesus, let's put Jesus before everything. There's nothing wrong with entertainment. Nothing wrong with any of that. The only problem is, is we don't put Jesus before everything. As soon as we wake up in the morning, we should pray to God. We should thank Him for the day. We should thank Him that we have a breath in our lungs. Jesus is the only way to redemption. The atoning work of the cross that we forget about, the blood that was poured and spewed out for us, was to make us new, a new creature in Christ. As soldiers of Christ, we have to stand strong. We have to preach the Gospel. We may not all be preachers, but we're all ministers of the Word. Amen? Not a lot of amens will happen, and that is okay. Because when you have a courage of the Lord, you don't expect to hear a lot of thanks. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3-4 through four, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engages in warfare, entangles himself, with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. He enlisted me as a soldier to come out here like a brother in arm 
and to march the streets and to speak the gospel, the truth, the 66 books that are in this Bible. No false doctrine. The false doctrine that we're kept with is what we are seeing in our news right now. The news and the media is so discouraging with everything. But Jesus, the one true doctrine that comes from Jesus lets you know that He will pick you up. He'll find you in your brokenness. Most of the people that were picked in the Bible, they're not much different than you and I. David committed adultery numerous times and he was a murderer, but he was still picked by God through the grace of his heart. Rahab had hid the Israelites and she was a harlot. But God redeemed her because of the faithfulness that she had in her Lord and Savior. Many other people like Moses, he was a murderer and had speech impediments, but he was given to give us our law, our command. Even though he couldn't talk well, and he probably didn't look the greatest, but he was still picked. God will pick you. He will pick any of us. As long as we have an obedience to Christ. We have to have an obedience to Christ. We're living in a world where we're falling out of churches and tickling of ears is happening. We're living in a world where people are turning the ears and the eyes to the lost. People don't even want to look at the homeless anymore because they're afraid they'll catch COVID. Well, you know what? There's no way around COVID. You're breathing air right now. The sad thing is we shouldn't turn our eyes to the needy. They need us and our Lord has commanded us to be there for them. My friends, in Joshua 24, 15, he says that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me, I will serve the Lord. I hope today that one of you will serve the Lord. That you will pick Jesus as your King and your Savior, as your Redeemer. As we finish marching through the streets and listening to all the division that is in this world, if we hold true to God and be patient, not everything comes in a snap of our fingers and we don't like that. When we ask for something from God, we expect it now, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we have to be patient. Isaiah 40, verse 31, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. When you give it to Jesus, your legs will not stumble no more. You won't trip. You won't weary. You can run this marathon and finish the race like Timothy says. You have fought the good fight. But if we don't give it to the Lord, your legs will wear out. Don't weary. Don't weary. The Lord will be your strength. Psalms 118.14 The Lord is my strength and my song. And He has become my salvation. A lot of us are needing salvation. A lot of us are needing a new life. Sure, we can get a haircut, change our clothes, get a new job, maybe even get a new spouse, but that ain't a new life. You'll still be broken and lost. Why? Because you haven't brought it to Jesus. He will find you in your lostness. He wants people to come to Him. Jesus wants people to come to Him. He wants someone to bring your problems to the sin, the sins you've had to the cross. And to just ask Him, Lord, be there. Search my heart, seek my heart, find what is ailing me that I need to make new. Guys, I'm not predicting that the world's going anywhere soon, but the signs we got, we need to turn to Jesus. We need to turn to Him, guys. The times, they're so frivolous right now. There's so many people that are lovers of money like our Bible speaks, lovers of themselves, blasphemers, 
too proud. We need to be humble in Christ. Jesus. I don't care if I just walked through the streets and just said, Jesus, 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 and Jesus. Because that name breaks strongholds. It breaks chains. It breaks bondage. It makes you feel whole and new again. In the name of Jesus, everything is made new. We rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the flesh in the name of Jesus. We ask for more people to be soldiers of Christ like our Bible says and to raise up. Say a prayer for you real quick. No, all right. What was your name? Ted. Ted. I, I met you a couple of days ago, actually, I think. Yeah. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing me to Terry again. Lord, I ask that you keep this man safe. I ask that more people will not be afraid, Lord. As I grab his hand here, I have no fear in any pestilence in this world. I only have a unitedness. We bleed the same blood, Lord. We need unity. No more division in this world, Lord. We rebuke anything that happens towards this man that is in evil intents, Lord. That this man can be safe in your name, Jesus. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. amen. God bless you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Don't have much, bud. Got a little bit. God bless you. God bless you. So as we continue to march through the streets, on a beautiful day, enjoy it nevertheless. I'm not saying don't enjoy the things of this world. I'm just saying, do we really put things to Jesus and God first when we wake up? Do we put our armor of God on before we step out here so when we stumble our toes and stub them and just want to say something we shouldn't, we'll remember that we put the armor of God on and we won't get mad. We are tested every single day we step out our doors. And without the armor of God and Jesus, we fail these tests every day. I was a broken man for years. I had failed so many times because I didn't put Jesus first. The biggest thing wrong in my life is I was not putting Jesus before all. He's right here. And I was about 19 years addicted to playing video games. And when I gave it up to the Lord, it wasn't an easy decision because my flesh didn't like it. But you know what? He took a 19-year-old video gamer, 19 years in it. He took a man that sold weed here and there. He took a man that had been married three times. He took a man with anger problems. And he said, you know what? Because you gave it to me, my good son, because you gave it to Jesus, I will redeem you and I will equip you to spread the gospel. As we're walking through the streets, I want you to know that Jesus has came to save the lost. To save the weary. Be blessed. God bless you guys. We need more ambassadors in Christ, more soldiers in Christ to step up. Yes. Hold on, I actually have a Bible back here. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Colette Rashad. Colette? Colette. Colette? Colette. Alright, we'll pray. Uh, Thank you. Can you get it out? Yes. Usually I do that on a separate outreach. I'm just street preaching today, but but I but I stop when when asked. Uh. Yeah, there is. Uh, thank you. All right. Can I get your autograph? <laughs> I don't have a pitch. <laughs> I'll put your little encouraging word on there. Right. Okay. So let me say a prayer for you real quick. Okay. You know what? Thank you for introducing us to Claudette today, Lord. I ask that you keep us safe in these streets, Lord, because you know that the people in these streets sometimes can have a rage against people that is unkind, Lord. I ask that the food that she has nourishes her body and mind, Lord, and that the gospel in this Bible will nourish her in a spiritual way, Lord. I ask that whatever is ailing this woman, as she brings it to you, Lord, that to know that the work on the cross that you had done on Mount Golgotha was to atone for everything in my life 2,000 years ago. Lord, I ask that you let this lady bring what is ailing her to you, Lord, whatever it may be. 
In Jesus' almighty name, amen. 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 You stay strong, okay? Yes, I will. At least it's warming up. Finally. Finally. <laughs> I, I, I'll be coming back out here soon with food. We usually do feed too. I'll be here. I'm just out of street preaching today. Okay. And what's your name? Hank Pogue Senior. Hank Pogue Senior. Okay. I'm Colette, not Claudette. Colette. I Colette. Call. Okay. <laughs> I'll I'll try to remember it. God bless you. God bless. Okay. See, and that is the type of grace I'm talking about. The grace of Jesus that brothers and sisters can sit down and not know each other and smile amongst each other and talk in peace. Not what we're used to seeing anymore. We're used to seeing division and no unity. But the unity needs to come back. As it's warming up and people are starting to come out in the streets more, we need to remember to love one another. We need to remember that we are all brothers and sisters in the day that comes when we go to either heaven or hell. There will be no more colors. There won't be time for division. There will only be time for unity. God bless you, brother. So guys, it don't mean you have to be a preacher, but you have to be a minister. We have to spread the gospel any way, shape, or form that we can. We have to proclaim the name of Jesus to the needy and to the lost to let them know that He is here for you. In John 3.16, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. But we get afraid because when people say something towards you for speaking Jesus, that Luke 6.22 says that they will revile you in the name of Son of Man tells you also that I was hated before you were. So when we are out here in the street walking Wait a second. <laughs> March Madness has got this town full. Show the camera that way. I just want you all to see a little bit of what we're preaching around to. There's a lot of people down here. When we bring it to Jesus, Romans 6.6 6 says, Knowing this, that our old self was crucified in Him, that we'll no longer be slaves to sin. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be slaves to sin anymore. I don't want to be lost and broken anymore. I don't want to feel the want of needing all the time. The water that comes from the Word of God, the water that comes from Jesus is enough to fulfill. Let's take it as this, as if I was the farmer and you were the horse and I pour water in a trough. If you do not drink it, you would sure, surely perish. But if you drank from it, you wouldn't thirst no more. And you would have a burning and yearning in you to continue to wonder why this water made me feel this way. Well, that water is the Word of God. And as soon as you drink that, you won't thirst no more. You'll just have a craving for Jesus. I'm real crazy for Jesus. That's good. Amen, brother. Ambassadors in Christ like that were crazy for Jesus. Soldiers of Christ. That's why we call ourselves God's soldiers and we wear all this because there's not enough soldiers and ambassadors of the Word of God. But my brothers and sisters, all we have to say is, Lord, forgive me, I'm a sinner. I want to turn from my evil way. I want to be made new in You, Jesus. I accept You as my Lord and Savior. Anyone that hears this, and wants to recite it, say it. I need you, Lord. I want you, Lord. I know that the work you did for me was not just for me, but for everyone in these streets in this world. Amen. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ.
tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah. If Jesus Christ is busy, you give me a thousand dollars right now. Thousand dollars, well, right now. I'm not Jesus. And I'm gonna, and all, hey. all I'm gonna do is go over there and eat. Hey, I'm not Jesus. I'm just I, a I, I'm gonna do is go eat. Are you yeah, recording this? Yeah. Um, it's down. It's not on you. Want to record it? Wait a minute, but you got the uh, what he thought in court Come on, man. Why on TV. Me, man? I could prove he was right, and he could be. You, it's up to you to find me. I can't help you. We pray free. for you guys. But, but that, that shows you. me you was in the, you served in the army. Army. That's army too. Well, the Air Force look like that too. Let me pray for you guys. I don't mind. Dear Lord, I thank you for introducing me to my brothers here. Even though we may not be blood brothers, we are brothers nevertheless. Lord, I ask that there would be no more division. The people would quit overlooking the lost in this world and want to proclaim the name of Jesus to them. Lord, whatever is ailing them, that they bring it to you, Lord. That they'll bring it to you for the atoning work that you did on the cross, Lord. I ask that more people continue to know that we are all brothers and sisters, Lord. I ask that more people would come out here and to show love to our brothers and sisters, Lord. Well, we are, brothers and sisters. And Lord, I ask that they remember to bring it to you today, yeah, Jesus, in your almighty name, Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus, amen and amen. Amen. Amen, my friend. I just so want to say, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Don't even know. I want to put that jacket on. I'd rather show love and hate love. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. Let me hug you, Let me hug you, brother. 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 I, 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 I want the blood, Jay. Hey. Hey. That's my occasion. I'd rather show love than hate. Now, yeah. fish that up. Get seven. I think love would be better. See exactly what we do. This is the power of the Holy Spirit that shows you that there's love. My brothers and sisters, we need more unity like this. More unity. I can't want to go. I will tell you why they want to go. Because I got the you know only that. son syndrome. You know what the only son syndrome is? My mother. I'm my mother's only son. So she See, wasn't gonna let me go nowhere. If I had a brother, you would be the same way. Could have did it. You fucked up. Can I ask you one question before I go ahead and listen? All right, man. Only yeah, son I, syndrome. Come on, Have man. Have you ever accepted you know Jesus? That's your Lord. I accepted it's Jesus a long man. time ago. A long time ago. That's good. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. My grandmother, all right? Yeah. My grandmother died in 2005. My grandmother was the Sunday school teacher. Yeah. My granddaddy I mean? was the oh. deacon of the church. So you had a seed planted in many All the time. That's good. These people don't believe in all this shit. I do. And I'm going to tell you why I do. Because I got stuck in places, man, with no money, no nothing. So I get back here. All I had to do was be patient, right? Just be patient. Well, it says be patient, wait for him. Be patient. You won't weary when you run. I was stuck in. See, everybody keep asking me about the story, right? I was stuck in Oklahoma with no money, no phone, no nothing. And guess where I wound up at? Dallas. No, I was in Dallas first. Dallas first. I was in Dallas first. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. And then I came from Dallas to here. But again, I was stuck in Oklahoma. Your money over there. No money, no phone, and no nothing. Jesus. Right there. Exactly. Exactly, my I said I'll be patient. I start wanting. They want things to happen. I don't right want now. to hear my story. 
Man, I started walking down the highway. I'm walking down the highway. And two goddamn hillbillies. He wasn't running. He was you know where hillbillies is? Yeah, I know. Two fucking hillbillies. Yeah, my boy. Oh, yeah. It popped. They said, you need a ride? Hell yeah, I need a ride. You guys, you guys need a Bible? I was on the I don't want to read my Bible. Yeah. Got to do that. It's the New Let's go, Mark. I read this. It's good word. It's the Bible cap chapter. New Testament. That's your daily bread. I don't read this right. I always read my word. God bless you, brother. God bless you. I love you. How many stories he done told you about the word? How many stories? How many stories I can tell you? No, I'm saying how many stories he tells you. He told me? That happened in the Bible. Wait a minute. Get back. Oh. Okay. No. David. You got David. David Wait a minute. Moses. You got David Silas. Mo. Heavy told you. Esther. Wait a minute. Esther. All of them. Rue. Remember? Baby. Ba ba see. All of them. He ain't told you none of that, baby. God told you. God that no one. You better get on his ass. <laughs> you get on his ass. You tell me about the snoring, baby. God bless you, guys. I love you, brother. God bless you. You gotta stay strong. Get on his ass. You better tell it. Fun. Okay. Hey. Have a good day. Fun, fool. Oh, God bless you guys. God you God. too, man. All y'all. Fun. Let me tell you the story, love. <laughs> God bless you guys. Oh, God bless you guys. That's the unity we need, even though a little bit of explicit content. Expect that when you street preach, though. But. It's a long, long way out of show love, you know? But it's you know. Out here. You come out here and you hug them. You hug them regardless. You hug them. It's kind of hard to really minister the gospel when people are drunk, though. But. Right. We'll get in there. Excuse the language on there, but now we're back to this as we head back and we wrap this up for the day. This has been a great experience today. We have got to stop and hug and preach the gospel to all you beautiful souls in this world. Every single one of us. We all beautiful because of Christ. Amen. Jesus is the only way, my friends. will never be united divided we will never be united divided my friends unity comes through Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the only way that we will be made new creatures like God said he's the only way that we can have brotherly love amongst each other so as you're out here today and join the day give a handshake to someone you don't know today and don't fear the disease fear the Lord Fear that he wants you to show brotherly love and we have been minus in doing that in today's society that we need to step up and remember to show brotherly love. There is no reason why we shouldn't hug each other. There's no reason why we shouldn't love each other. But because the world, like Romans 12, verse 1 through 2 says, don't be conformed to the world. We became conformed and scared. Forgetting that the gospel, the great physician, Jesus Christ, has our backs wherever we go. He will destroy any sickness, any stronghold, any bondage, only through his name, Jesus. So God bless you guys, and have a beautiful and wonderful day, and put God first.